Hello, Libra. It's me, G1 Rider with G1 Insights. This is a message for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, overall life and love energy for the month of June 2019. Okay, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please visit my website, g1insights.org. Please comment below. Let me know what you think of this video. Um, there's a lot going on here for you <laughs> this season. Um, I think a lot of you will love it. And some of you will be probably happy but mad at the same time. So let's get into it because I feel like a lot of you, like your energy is shifting in a way because let me just talk about love first. Okay, I was going to wait to talk about love, but let's talk about love first. I feel like a lot of you are feeling um, restricted or feeling like you like you want to tap out or you want to walk out feeling like you've had enough of the bullshit like you just want to let it all go you don't have time for it anymore okay or this could just be it may not even be too deep but it could be something where maybe you just feel like something just doesn't you know, make you feel complete anymore, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you, for a lot of you, this is a love situation. For a lot of you, this is career, okay? And this is all in your cards. Like, for a lot of you, this is career. For a lot of you, this is love. So let's talk about love first, okay? This is often the case in most situations, but for you, especially Libra, it is important that you begin to shift your energy to a higher vibration because you are one of the most lovable signs of the Zodiac and you feel good being in love. Like you love to love, you love having just love all around you um, and you love to just find love in everything you do and everything you uh, go through or any type of challenges or family or whatever like you just enjoy singing love and when something is making you feel something that doesn't uh that's not in alignment with what you normally like to feel like it causes you to feel restricted or it makes you feel bored or uh perhaps lonely lonely or upset Okay, you could be deeply upset with someone very close to you. Um, and I feel like a lot of you just been kind of holding it in and just dealing with emotions on the inside. And you just want to break free. You just don't want it anymore, okay? And f for a lot of you, if this is a career situation. It's the same thing. Like, you just want to go, but it's like you want to do things the right way. You know, you don't want to overstep your boundaries. You don't want to um, miss out on a great recommendation. I feel like you just holding on to this because you're afraid of what's really out there for you. When in reality is, you're truly blessed especially this season and i'll talk about it in a second okay but let me wrap this point up when it comes to love okay um you may feel like something no longer resonates with you anymore like um or it doesn't resonate with any type of old acquaintances the way that it used to right um and and the thing is also libra is that you love to have fun so even when you feel like someone is holding you back or if you feel like someone is very pessimistic, like very negative minded, um, always have something negative to say or maybe they have been or maybe they have been kind of snotty with you lately. You know, this is a, a perfect time for you to just move on. OK, don't second guess yourself, even if this is a relationship, a friendship or this is perhaps a work related situation. If your heart is telling you that you really don't want this anymore, then it is really time for you to just let it go. OK, move on to more uh, associations, you know, and situations and people that you can uh, relate to a bit more. OK, you air signs is this season you all a lot of you ear signs your energy is like scattered and i don't know it's because it's that gemini energy or you know the the full moon in sagittarius like i don't know what it is about you guys energy this season but it's really really like sketchy you know a lot of you are going through that phase of um 
wanting to do something but afraid to do it. Um, you know, so if you have Aquarius or Gemini in your birth chart as a sun, moon, or rising, check their videos out too because you'll see what I mean. Like a lot of you guys' energy is the same. Like it's very sketchy and very skeptical as well, okay? So long story short, just allow yourself to just be free this season because one of your cards here is... It's like you want freedom, but for some reason, something is stopping you from gaining that that freedom. And this, for again, for a lot of you, this is about love. And for some of you, it's about your finances, where you know that there's a better opportunity somewhere else. So this may even be a call to relocate as well, right? So you may be like, look, you know, there's a great job for me, a great career, great money, but I don't know anybody there. I don't have any friends in that city, right? Or I don't know nothing about that town. I don't know how to get around, you know, but it's okay. Allow yourself to network and, you know, with a different perspective. Allow yourself to network in ways that reflect who you really are, that allow you to reflect your higher intentions Okay, and this could be through maybe you need to do yoga some more. Maybe you need to do some more meditation, listening to music, something that really calms you. Like, I know a lot of you love to learn. You love, love knowledge. So maybe you go to a library or, you know, one of them bookstores and just find a new book, something that really can kind of help stimulate your, your mind, you know, that deep intellect of yours, right? Like really try to find a way to kind of balance your uh, mental, your mental energy, because that is what is causing, I was going to say diversion. <laughs> that is what's causing some type of division when it comes to love and money is that you don't have that, that willpower just yet. And and you haven't had it for a while, so a lot of you have been feeling like, eh, I don't really care about this anymore, I don't want to do this anymore, this is boring, I'm lonely, you're never around, we haven't been really intimate in a while, um, you know, or maybe you feel like somebody is not being totally truthful with you, or it may not even be that, maybe you just deeply love this person, but you're just bored with them now, okay, and that is going to be the side of you where you can choose definitely to try to work it out maybe go get counseling especially if you're married you know I don't really wish anybody to break up but if you feel like it's really getting to the point where you really are like fed up and you really just want to break free from it all you know I would definitely recommend that you do counseling or any type of coaching first beforehand you know because a lot of you are afraid to just simply walk away because a part of you are just comfortable. You like the familiar side of it, of it all. You love the fact that you know, you know everything. You know the timing of everything. And when something is so unpredictable, sometimes it can be scary. So even in love, if something is so unpredictable, you may not necessarily want to go through with that plan or you may not want to relocate just yet because you might be a bit, a bit skeptical now i want to tell you though really quickly um this is a good time to to reconnect with or just simply connect with like-minded individuals okay people who can really help stimulate your your intellect side okay um but also when it comes to your finances though when it comes to your finances there's um, something that you see that you want and you won't go after it because something over here feels right. Like it just feels good. And so you don't want to leave that. And, and while having that stability feels great... And while having that comfort feels amazing, you don't want to miss out on such an opportunity like this because I feel like you're being blessed, tremendously blessed financially this season. And this can come through a promotion. It can come through some type of recognition at work, or this could be um, 
some type of gift of some sort. Like maybe someone left you some money. This can be, for a lot of you, this could be your retirement, okay, or your 401k. Somebody have really, really been doing their, their financial biz. And guess what? This season, the universe is blessing you um, in a huge way, abundantly, okay? And so you don't want to miss out on this grand opportunity because of your fears and of your doubt. Okay, so it's very important that you connect, reconnect with your community, with your resources, reach out to any family that you know that have knowledge of something that you are interested in, um, or pay someone a visit that you haven't seen in a while. Somebody who, I feel like the, whoever this person is, they're really resourceful and they don't mind helping. They're just waiting for you to just ask for the help. Like, they don't mind helping. So, Libra, you got the golden goose this season. I love it. Like, because it's like, it's, there's some skepticism in there, right? But then it's like, you get the green light, though. The universe is like, what are you waiting for? Go get it. I have it all here for you. Okay, but there's a real realization that is coming to you towards the end of the month. There's going to be a huge realization. And part of that realization is going to say, you know what? I'm ready. Let's do it. Fuck it. I'm ready. I'm ready to start over. I'm ready to get that, that new career. I'm ready to get that new spouse. I want new love. I want to be in love again. I love that new outfit. I love that new color of my hair. Like, I just feel like there's going to be a strong, strong realization coming towards you at the end of the month, around the 28th to the 30th, okay, of June. This season is all about you, my love, okay? So don't don't <laughs> mess up this opportunity because of the way past things have been going or because somebody else is a little negative or being pessimistic and they, like, every time you say something positive or sweet, they have a rebuttal for it. They have something negative that they want to say or they don't really fully, fully believe in you like they claim they do. So it's like every time you speak upon your dream or things that you really love they just have something to say so word of advice Libra before I go is to really really try your best to keep your goals your financial goals your savings anything dealing with your money or what you want to invest your money into try to keep it to yourself unless you are speaking to someone who is really resourceful and that's going to help elevate you I would keep it to myself because in this is even in love. This could even be in a relationship, okay? Do not think for a second that spouses do not get jealous. They do get jealous, and some spouses will deliberately, you know, try to object to your idea or your plan because not because it's not a good idea or not because it's not a good plan or a good business or a good job, but because they don't want you to over or um, exceed over them. So you have to be very cautious about people who who claim they're in your circle or in your life and they want support for you, be very cautious about those type of people, okay? And not saying that people can't be genuine, but you know, you will know, trust me. By the end of this month, you will begin to see who's who and who's really down for you. You'll begin to see, even by mid-June, you'll be able to see people for who they really are. Like, you'll be able to see who's really down for you, who really supports you, who really love you, and that's going to make you want to reach out to them more. That's going to want to make you say, you know what? Let me call this person up. Let's have a chat or let's talk. Because, again, you love having that support system. And that is going to be the key right there. The support is going to blow your mind because it's going to come from places that you didn't think it was going to come from. Okay, so be very open-minded. Okay, the universe is saying to be receptive. Okay, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, your energy, and your ability to give to others, okay? So this is not a game. Tap into those resources, reconnect with your community or like-minded friends, okay? For those people that want to be toxic or pessimistic, calling you up with nothing but bad news or just negativity, begin to do some inventory. Start to delete people out your phone. If they want to be negative and toxic towards you, Start to delete them people, block those people, even on social media, social media, <laughs> even on social media, 
block their ass, okay? Do not allow their toxic energy into your world. You have had enough of it, okay? And so this is beautiful because I feel like you're aiming for that freedom and you want it and you can just taste it. You can just smell it. It's like right there. But you've been so afraid to go after this uh, this opportunity because of what somebody else is thinking. And again, at the end, by the end of the month, trust me, you will have that realization. Like, okay, I love you, but I love me more, right? Like, this is good, but that career is better, right? Like, I like that car, but that red one, though, like, you're going to be having some really amazing epiphanies or thoughts, even about your dreams, about, like, your actual goals in life. Like, you're going to be having a lot of intuitive energy thanks to that cancer energy, right? And again, a lot of you ear signs going to be going through that phase of feeling kind of vulnerable. But this is a good thing because it's going to allow you guys to kind of dig a little deeper about your desires and what you really want. So use that energy to really challenge yourself, okay? Um, and then even in July, I mean, I can't really talk too much about it, but even in July, you got some things coming up, okay? So like and share this video. Please comment below. I'm G1 Writer. Okay, share this message around the world because everybody needs to know what's going on, okay? I love you. Have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Bye.